What is going on guys, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4. In the last episode, guys, we had a little bit of a debate. I asked you guys what you wanted me to do with the future of my family in The Sims 4. With me, Zai, Derek, my brother, and Lily, our daughter, who grew up so fast. Who knows how she grew up so fast. But I asked you guys what you wanted me to do, and a lot of you suggested that I use a cheat called... Control shift C. I've got my cheat menu up there. I use a cheat called uh, Motherload. Uh, Motherload gives you 50,000 simillions, so you can do whatever you want with it. It is a cheat code. And um, I wasn't too sure about this. I did ask for your guys' opinion in the last episode because you were the ones who actually suggested it to me. I never ever planned to do this. You're the one who said, just do that, and then you can buy a better house, and then you can play it. It'll be more fun. <laughs> do that. Um, Truth is, I used to use cheat codes on The Sims all the time. Every time I used to play it when I was younger, I always used cheat codes. I just never thought about doing it for an LP series. I thought, you know what, keep it legit, all that stuff. But you guys are the viewers. You want to be entertained. You want it the way you are going to enjoy it, right? So I asked you, uh, I asked all of you and I put it out there to you and I said, what do you want to see? Put in the comments of the last episode whether you want cheats or you do not want cheats and overwhelmingly i would say 99 percent of the comments said yes cheats so you guys want me to do the cheat called mother load i haven't done it yet as you can see my my money is still the same and everything like that um i did i thought i'd do it on episode on the episode so you guys can see everything and we're not hiding anything from anyone so yeah we're gonna do that in today's episode and we're gonna buy a new house for i think we're gonna buy a house for me zai and lily maybe derek i'm not sure might take derek with us and then maybe move him out eventually because i got quite a nice house i want to put in um and i said to you guys i'm gonna buy one from the gallery because i never used it before so before the episode i was checking out the gallery see what there is all the different stuff and i want to show you what i've come across so if i click on the gallery now these are the houses that i have favorited in my gallery so i clicked on my profile i went here um i went to lots and i was just like searching for all the lots there's so many there you, you do it yourself guys there's so much to choose from really really nice houses also some really cheap ones Look, if i go here to 10,000. I wish I would have done this at the start because I can actually afford some of these houses. Like, look at that. It's only 9,000 and it's like furnished, everything, and it's a nice, cute little house. You can do so much with that. Um, but if I go to my profile, these are the ones that I favourite in. And I will go through them from most expensive to what I'm probably going to choose. This is the most expensive house. And there's something about this house that I wanted to show you guys, which I didn't think was possible. Um, it's a really nice house, nice modern looking. Look at it from the outside. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. Um, it comes furnished as well, so it's good. I think there's one bedroom there. I think it's two bedrooms. I'm not sure. I see a kitchen, all that stuff. Got empty rooms there and stuff, so you probably could convert it into two bedrooms. But it is 113,000. I thought maybe that's a little bit too much just to go all out and buy a big mansion. I'd like to get there eventually, and I probably will do that eventually. But I think to do that in today's episode might be a bit too much. So. But, yeah, there's a, a unique feature about this. It says, modern house. I'm pointing, by the way. Like, you can see what I'm pointing at. It says, modern house with a pool. I didn't think you could have swimming pools in The Sims. But, look, there's clearly a swimming pool. I know in Sims 3 you could have swimming pools, but I didn't know you could have that in Sims 4. Has something changed? I know I've got a few updates, and maybe they've incorporated it. I don't know. But you get a swimming pool with that one, which is really cool. Um, the second one was... Uh, is it that one? I think it was this one. Yeah, second one was this one. Um, it wasn't too bad. It it came unfurnished. You have like one, two, three, four rooms, five rooms there. I wasn't too sure on it, so I kind of just put it to one side. I thought, yeah, 13,000, not bad. I just wasn't too sure on it. The third one was this one. I really like this one because it looks very unique with the roof and stuff, the way it, it curves over. It's really cool. But again, it's only got one bedroom, like a bathroom, open plan, living room, kitchen, and then it's got one bedroom there, so obviously not good enough for four people so can't use that one and this one was another starter house it was quite expensive actually for a starter house 18,000 really nice house I like it look at it it's really nice but it's just tiny like everything is so compact in there like you got a kitchen here one bedroom there you got a living room there a bar from here I think and, and a little dining room there there's not it's, again there's still not enough room for all of us but the house I think I'm going to choose is this one it's a big big house and it's actually quite cheap it's only 21,000 like I know it says 20 20 uh 
20,900, but it's only 21,000 and it looks pretty nice. It's still modern. I wanted to get a modern house. I did like it. Outside looks good. It gives you enough space to do stuff in the back and things like that. And it's got a lot of space. It's not furnished, which I thought would be good because then it means we could furnish it together. I haven't furnished anything in The Sims 4 before. And I do like the furniture they have. So I thought that would be good. And it's very big. Look, you've got a downstairs, you've got all this living room space. One of these could be a kitchen or a bedroom, everything. You can have a back backyard. And then you've got upstairs, you've got all these rooms upstairs as well. And it's only 20,000. I thought that could be good. So I could give myself my other load right now. I could buy that house because I'm only 8,000 away from buying that house anyway. But I could give myself my other load right now, buy that house, and then I could furnish it as well. So let's do it. Let's do it. I think that is the house I'm going to go for. So I need to do Control Shift C and I need to type Mother. Oh, what happened there? Something came up. Let's do it again. Mother L O D E. I think that's how you do it. I want to click on my sim actually. So I give that to him. And let's do that. Did it work? Right. Why do I always get these, these wrong <laughs> on video? It's so weird. Let's do it again. It's M O T H. E R right and then it's L O D E is that how you do it? Oh there we go. Mother load. So that gave me fifty thousand right there. So sixty two thousand now. So if I so that's really easy. <laughs> really easy. And uh, so if I buy that house that take twenty thousand away and I got forty two thousand to furnish it. And I think that's gonna be pretty good. I'm not gonna go over the top with it. I'm not gonna just spam it and give myself loads of money. I may use it every now and again if I want to do something special. But for today's episode, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go to the town view actually. I wanna go to the town view and I want to What do I want to look at? I want I want to know if I, cause if I click on this what what does that say visit with visit oh, okay so I'm guessing I've got to go and not hire a service move household hmm I'm wondering yeah I'm going to have to take everyone with me I think so I'm guessing that's the best thing I could do move household let's do that then cuz I'm wondering if there's a better better area I can move to with like better plots and better houses around. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, I want to kind of do that. Um look at this. Like you got a really big plot there, some nice houses. At the moment I live here. You got some Oh, you got some nice houses there. So, I want to check out some of these. And I know we've got another town as well, but I don't really like this town because it's like it's like a desert. It's weird. Look at it. The houses are pretty strange. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick to Willow Creek. So I'm either going to move into this area over here or this area over here. Let's check out this area because what are the prices of houses in this area? 36, 100, 41, 97. Well, these, this is like the most expensive part of town, the 100. So I'm thinking maybe this. It's only a 2,000 lot. Can I, can I check it out? What's the size of that lot actually? It's 30 by 20. What was the size of this house that I wanna I wanna move into? 30 by 20? Okay, so I could use that on that lot, surely. If I make a mistake here guys, I will just redo it. So it's only a 2,000 lot. I wonder if I can still own this residence here. What's, that's a 30 by 20. So I could move to the one next door to me. I could do that, it's my old house, but I don't really like my house. As they're all 30 by 20s pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, they're all 30 by 20s. So I want to look at these houses around here. Um, no, I don't want to move in, evict. No, I don't want to do that. Right, you know what I might do? Because I want to just see what the area's like. So I'm going to quit out of that and I'm going to go and just visit that area around there to see what it looks, looks like um, before I actually move in because I don't want to move into anything that's not nice. I want it to be nice, especially since we're going to have a really nice house now. So I want it to be nice around that area. So if I get out of this again, go travel, I'm just going to have to go to another loading screen. Once again, can you do that for me? Yep, there we go. Um, I really wish there was like a mod to... Uh, Oh, let's go and look at that. A mod to speed up the loading screens. Because that is one of the downfalls with The Sims 4. I think everyone will agree that loading screens are a bit crazy. <laughs> There's so many of them. And it's just, you've always got to wait for it to load. And like, I'm like 10 minutes in my video already. So let's pause this. So what do we have around here? Um, it's an okay lot, I guess. Nice house there. It's quite small. 
it is honestly quite small. I don't like these houses. I don't like them. See, this is why I want to check it out. I don't like these houses around here. I don't think it fits. I don't think that fits with my person. So we have to go to another loading screen again. Um, I want to I wanna go and check out that rich area. Because I think I just might move in there then. Because I didn't like them houses whatsoever. These houses look nice around here. So I want to check this out. There is no more plots for me to move into. There's not, is there? So if this one over here is not nice, I'm just going to move next door. Next door to where I am now. I think that is probably going to be the best option. So... It says buy, um, buy seeds by clicking on a plant pot, a plant box, sorry. <laughs> Use B, shortcut to build mode. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I learn something all the time. So let's have a look at this one then. Ah, that's quite nice. Because, like, you got that park, you got a drive, is this like a driveway? Oh, no, it's a road. Look at that. Look at that. That's really nice. Look up. Oh, wow, we've got all these planting things around here. So you got a park right over there. you got... Some weird looking houses here, but this is quite a nice plot because you got that big tree there. I like this plot. I like the fact you've got a path going around. you got a like a, pretty much a lake at the back of your house. Got some nice fancy houses around here. I think it'll fit in around this area. I do. What's that over there as well? Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's like a kid's playground. That'll be good for Lily. She can go there to the playground you know what i think i'm gonna do it i think we're gonna purchase this lot here it's a nice lot so let me go back to this and we are going to move household can we do that sorry my sims character i am dragging you around at the moment but i think that is the household we're going to move into now we have the money so can i click on this yep that is the only one i can click on and keep furniture or sell furniture if I sell furniture, I will have 79. If I keep furniture, I have this. Let's sell our furniture because we're going to start fresh. We're going to move the whole family in. So let's do it. Let's do it. We're moving house. Right, this is now our new lot, guys. So now I've got to buy the house and place it down. Please be the right size lot. <laughs> Otherwise, we've got to choose another house. I've never done any of this on The Sims 4, so this is all kind of new to me. So if I'm a little bit slow with it all, guys, don't rage. Wow. Here we go. Everyone, you can live on the grass. Is, is this a house? Yeah, it's a house, right. Right, 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 right. So let's, let's go and buy the house that we wanted, which was this one. Now to buy this, I'm pretty sure, save lots of library, right? All right, I've done that. So now if I go to my library, oh, I've saved one in there before. So if I go to my library and I click this, how do I use the lot? Cannot place the lot in this game mode. Okay. Maybe I need to go to build. So let's switch to build. And let's go to this. Aha. Furnished or unfurnished? Let's do it unfurnished because then we can buy some stuff, I think. Unfurnished. Applying this will replace the current lot in build mode you cannot undo this action do you I oh, do you want to continue yes I do whoa 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 listen uh, that actually looks really nice look at the trees and we've got space for a backyard as well and I might put like a little fence around it uh, that looks good guys I really do like this I really like this and we've still got 58,000 so I just want to check it out a sec I'm gonna put the walls up <gasps> guys look at our new house that is amazing that is really good really good so what did I give myself I right? mother load gives you 50 right yeah, yeah mother load gives you 50 right so yeah I could have honestly afforded this house by myself because it wouldn't have took too long just probably would have took a couple of episodes but this is what you guys wanted I really like this house I really like it I want to kind of see I'm getting carried away now but I want to kind of see what What's this? Wall patterns, yeah. I want to kind of see what it will look like in a different colour, like white or something. I'm more like obsessed with white, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it the same. I'm gonna keep it the same. But I really like this house. Really like it. Pools! You can have swimming pools now. I didn't I thought they got rid of that. They, oh, we're definitely gonna have a swimming pool. We are definitely going to have a swimming pool, guys. 
So, um, let's get some essentials in and then next episode we can start pimping up this house. Because we're going to need a... Um, we're going to need a kitchen and stuff. Let me uh, put these walls back again like this. So let me try and work out where we're going to have things. This is going to be the living room because I like that window there. Um, maybe... I might do living room and dining room here. So like a dining room and a living room. No, I don't know. Hmm... One of these, that's my bathroom, 100% are going to have to be a bathroom. Maybe the kitchen goes here, living room, dining room there. Yeah, that looks okay. But, like I said, I need essentials. So, if we can go, I need I need to go into buy mode, don't I? Oh, styled rooms, I forgot about this. I like styled rooms. Can we do a, what's this then? Oh, this is kitchen. No, I don't like that. That's a nice kitchen. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. How much is that going to cost me? 8,000. Where will it... Can I can I like preview what it's going to look like? I don't think I can. You know what, guys? I'm going to be here forever. For absolute ever. Trying to go through this. So what I might do... I think I'm going to end this episode here. And next episode, we are just going to go all out and decorate this house and make it amazing. I'm thinking about putting a pool in, maybe putting a fence around the house, um, having something for Lily in the garden so she can play, and then maybe potentially moving Derek out eventually. But look at the house, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did we check the upstairs? Let's check the upstairs quickly. Um, how many bedrooms do we have up here? Oh, we don't have a lot. We do not have a lot of bedrooms. We have two. We have one, this is going to have to be a bedroom of a bathroom. Oh, that's a bedroom there and that's a bedroom there. No, we have three. We have one, two, three bedrooms. So we have a bedroom, bathroom, a bedroom there and a bedroom there. And I was thinking maybe down here could, could be considered a bedroom as well. But yeah, guys, really like the house. Let me know in the comments what you think of the house. I like it. I cannot wait to get started and start furnishing this house. Because the, the episode's like nearly 20 minutes already so i'm gonna have to end, end it and we'll have to do it in the next episode because i don't want it to be too long because i could literally be here all day doing this but we have a new house the house has moved our new household but guys um let me know what you think of it in the comments i'd really like to read your opinions because you're so involved in this series already but thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another episode of the sims 4